Hi everybody, Carol here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making a card from the Simon Says Stamp April card kit and it's going to be featuring the little galoshes or rain boots with tulips coming out of them. So I'll start out by using these uh, Spellbinder dies, the scalloped edge, and I'm using the largest one and I'm cutting a hole into the uh, front piece of paper that will go on top of my card base. So I also am going to go ahead and die cut the uh, little rain boot with the tulips that comes in the kit. And um, I cut several because I'm going to be cutting some of those tulips off the top of the boot and the side of the boot. And uh, you will see that in a minute. And then these three little Sizzix dies, I played with them and one more little Doris die here. Um, and I, want, I wasn't sure if I would use them or not, and you'll see what happens, but uh, these um, are really handy for little fill-in dies, and uh, one that is a embossing die, as, as, as embosser, as well as a die, and uh, this is how I do. I just stick my paper into it fold it over like a little folder. I decided to get as much out of this as I could so I'll put all three of those onto one strip and uh, ran them through the uh, die cutting mach machine, my Big Shot. And um, as you will see later, I end up not using all of them but I let you see what they look like and you had the option if you wanted to try something like that to see which one appeals to you the most. So I punch those out and this is the way the little booklet works. I just love it. It not only cuts it out but it also embosses it. So I'm going to get up close so that you can see the embossing on there. Now I go back with my scraps and cut out the swirl. That's called Small Swirl by Doris. And um, it makes a nice uh, flourish. And then uh, that's what it looks like over there, the Doris packaging. And then also a Spellbinders uh, little pinwheel set. There is one little butterfly in there, and I'm going to use it. So I'm putting my Tombow glue on all the little pieces and setting them aside to dry because, as you know, when they dry, or if, maybe you don't, but they uh, become repositionable then at that point. Now, since I don't know which uh, color scheme I'm going to use, I'm coloring this in two, three different ways. Uh, little boots and the flowers, all one with the copper pencil, all one with the blue pencil, and then one with the blue for the flowers, green for the leaves, and copper for the uh, galoshes. So uh, I'll show them all to you, and it's easy to do because you just go down the little grooves of the embossing. Uh, this die does emboss as well, and so it makes it easy to follow and just give it some light shading if you want to. Now here I'm going to put it together. I got a piece of blue from my stash and I'm, it's going to represent water. I kind of measured where I wanted to put it, then put the scalloped hole on top, and then these are all three of the color schemes that let you see them. I decided to go with the blue. I'm kind of going with the Delft look, the Holland look, because I've got blue and white and tulips, so I thought I'll just go with the blue scheme. Those are the tulips that I cut off the top of the rain boots. And I'm sliding, I kept them all on one piece, all across the top, and slid them up under that scalloped edge. Now these are the little um, sweet stems. And I'm tucking them in and play around with them a little bit. And I'm just basically going around the edge of the circle. Now I wanted one more color punch of color of blue so I'm using some artistic license here and putting them up there a circle up there um, just to kind of be a blue moon I guess and then I'm putting the little butterfly on top of it and um, now rearrange the little stems a little bit and fill in and get them just the way I want them and then I'll show you the different colored uh, boots, what they look like, which one you like better, give you an option, give you an idea. And then these are some of the flourishes that I cut out just to show you 
what they would have looked like. You might prefer them or not, just uh, to give you an idea of what you could do. And I had some little flowers that I got that I uh, punched out from a punch that I have. I wanted to keep it clean and simple. I'm going to put the sentiment on the inside of the card. I just want this to be very uh, quiet and calm. Now this is the flourish that I did decide to go with, uh, called Small Swirl by Jerese. And I'm putting a little butterfly, another little butterfly there. This is totally removable, so I may leave it, may not. And then I wanted to show you up in this upper corner, I had one extra tulip that I'd cut off the side of a boot, and I decided to fill in with one more little tulip, and it stuck out there, so I'm cutting off the edge. And uh, not really noticeable, but kind of noticeable. So just uh, I thought it looked better, or I wouldn't have left it. So now cutting off, going back and trimming off the swirl down at the bottom, and then I'll uh, zoom it in and you can see and you can decide if you like that filled in at the bottom better or just left plain. So as I said, it doesn't show up too much the white on white, unfortunately, but up close in personal, up close and personal, it looks really nice and soft and sweet and kind of delicate. So uh, it was just the look I was going for and the mood I was going for. So. <laughs> Uh, I hope you enjoy. Uh, maybe give this a try. It's a really nice die. And um, thanks for joining me today. See you next time. Bye-bye.